Ducky Mallard is a name no NCIS fan can forget. The long-standing medical expert can be considered a historian for the show, since he's been part of the main team for 20 whole years. A lot of fans were worried about him leaving the show, and it looks like those fears have materialized, folks. In this video, we'll be telling you about David McCallum's announcement about his exit and his retirement plans. Let's get to it. First off, it's a contract thing. Sadly, due to Darwinian evolution, men tend to cherish women's bodies rather than their minds. Which is pretty custom. Mary. A lot of actors have to leave the shows they're on because of contracts ending, or some other path they want to pursue afterward. Sometimes it goes a little awry and the actor just wants to get out. As for McCallum, that's not the case. After he retired in the 16th season, Ducky got on board as a historian, but his screen time started reducing a whole lot. It left many fans worried, because that's the tried and tested formula for a character's exit, especially with a show like this one. Well, sometimes your instinct's right, and sometimes it isn't. This is one of those times that it is, because David revealed in his latest interview that he is indeed leaving the show. Sometimes fall prey to that myself. I thought you only talked to bodies. A lot has changed since you... According to him, he has two episodes left in his contract. Then, it's goodbye. We know it's tough news to swallow. Guess his time on the show is just done. As for those two episodes, we don't know if they're gonna be in the current season or the next one. We don't even know if they've been filmed yet. We haven't seen him a lot in recent episodes, too. So, hey, fans have a little more ducky content to look forward to. Up next, his future in NCIS and beyond. To find a husband. Well, it looks like she found herself a psycho instead. So far, the actor has only appeared in two episodes in season 20. Those are on Earth and Leave No Trace, and fans, quick as they are, caught on to this fast. Given the news, they hope that for his last two episodes, he gets more screen time and a proper goodbye. We need that closure, come on. He told Radio Times that he's going to go out to California to shoot if circumstances all align and his health lets him. But he also added that he has a feeling that those are going to be the last two episodes of the season. And like he said, most of the characters come together in those. If this is the case, then we're going to have to wait a while to see them. The other half of the season is going to premiere next year, so that's a little bit of a wait we've got on our hands. For the sake of your health, give up the chair. <laughs> Which is not... As for David, he's got everything planned out. He talked about his retirement plans with his wife. The man's 89 years old, after all. He revealed that though both of them will continue to work after he leaves NCIS, they've started sowing the seed of retirement. He called it a work in progress, so it's safe to say he's working on it at his own pace. It is a little bittersweet, though, because he's the only person left from the show's early days. Everyone else has left. Coming up, what he thinks of the show now. So I would give you odds that he did not it would have been quick. It's complicated for sure. When you've seen a series grow and change, actors come and go since 2003, it's gotta leave you with some mixed emotions. McCallum said that traveling isn't easy as it used to be for work, so getting to set can be really tough, regularly or not. More importantly though, it's the fact that it was just so unfamiliar when he actually got to work. The star had to address the elephant in the room. NCIS hasn't been the same since so many of the OGs left. He said he doesn't know a lot of the new cast that well, and he was much more familiar with the oldies, like Mark Harmon and Cote de Pablo. I'm just reviewing Lieutenant Hutton's physical, taken only last week. The man is in perfect health. They've all moved on and are doing other things in life, so it's natural for him to feel a little out of place on set. He even went as far as to say that it feels like a totally different show and doesn't make sense anymore. It's understandable because a lot of fans also share the same sentiment. And now, his thoughts on his co-workers. The left trapezius muscle. There's a one millimeter perfectly round dot, which at first glance appears. It's not all bad though. It's not like he didn't enjoy his time on the show, even in recent years. The little screen time, though bad for the fans, seemed to be a good compromise for him till his contract was over. The star mentioned in his interview that he really, really loved working with Brian Dietzen. The Jimmy Palmer and Ducky duo is one that we all loved and cherished, and it's amazing to know that the actors themselves were totally into it too. No, 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 this is all yours, Mr. Palmer. Allow me to assist. He went on to call him his rock, and a tremendous actor too, amen to that. Their relationship on screen is something he's gonna remember for a long time, and so are we. They're impossible to forget. Yes, your 21st century Navy lieutenant was killed by an old Cold War era. Now, David McCallum looks back on his biggest acting roles. First up, there's The Outer Limits. The man's a TV legend, y'all. NCIS isn't the only show he's well known for. He's lived a long life and been part of so many projects, a lot of them super influential. One of them is The Outer Limits from the 60s, a sci-fi anthology. Eyes developed a wider field of vision and a power of charged concentration. 
In conversation with Radio Times, he talked about this show with such fondness. It was adorable. You can tell he had a blast on set. The way he got the gig was that he was in LA at the time and was looking for work. Joe Stefano, the writer for the iconic Hitchcock movie Psycho, wrote the scripts for this show. So, of course, he had to give it a shot and got the job. Although it was filmed on location at MGM, all of the studio work was completed in a very small studio just off Sunset Boulevard, where the crew also handled all of the interior design. Are you still not afraid of me? In 1963, he played Gwillem, a miner who serves as a test subject in an investigation into how quickly human evolution can happen. It was a role that called for a lot more makeup and prosthetics. The episode's called The Sixth Finger, and David recalled that he had to show up at 4 a.m. to start makeup. It was no joke, you guys. It took four whole hours to get it all done with the artist, Fred Phillips. Then at 8 a.m., they had to film, and he had to take breaks in between because all the stuff on his body was so heavy. Up next, his thoughts on his sci-fi projects. He was no stranger to the genre. In fact, he made lots of returns to it. He fronted another one called The Invisible Man and an ITV production called Sapphire and Steel. Looks like he had a type. What's more is, after that, he also appeared on Sequest and Babylon 5. When asked if he likes the genre specifically, he said that he's more of a practical man. He explained that he was very happy just to get work and have the bills paid. Getting money to pay for insurance, electricity, and all of those necessities. That's often what's on a budding actor's mind at first. That hustle was what propelled him to these roles. So, it must have been a coincidence that he got so many sci-fi roles because what was on his mind the most was to keep food on the table and get by. Either way, it's a cool list to have. Last but not least, BBC's Colditz. The 60s were a busy, busy time for the actor. He went on to star in The Great Escape, a classic war film. Soon after, he found himself in BBC's Colditz, another war project. This wasn't a coincidence, though. He was especially drawn to the genre after doing the former film. He played RAF officer Simon Carter, someone based on the real-life Colditz inmate, Lieutenant Dominic Bruce. David had a lot of love for the character and talked about him with tons of enthusiasm. It's not easy to get into that kind of headspace, but that's the challenge and joy of acting. Right, folks? He described the experience as very interesting and close to the source material. Pat Reed wrote the book on which the movie was based, and he went on to talk about the entire experience of the castle-turned-prison and its history. It was a learning experience, for sure. McCallum had to brush up on his research, and it looked like he enjoyed doing that. He talked about this new book that he read about the event called The Prisoners of the Castle. It gives a thorough analysis of the place and details all the terrible interactions that occurred between those who were actually imprisoned. Plus, it gives immense detail as to what the Germans were doing and their war efforts. The actor commented that reading this one opened his eyes. Back in the 60s, he visited the area himself in East Germany itself and called it dramatic and interesting, which is all an actor can really ask for. Yeah, it's a condition called pink tooth. It's caused by the use of an arsenic compound. Well, that's all for this video, folks. What are your thoughts on Ducky's exit and retirement after NCIS? Let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. See you all in the next one.